My name is Katya Von Elba, and I stumbled on Conscious Discipline when I was a classroom teacher, and it transformed my experience in the classroom. It transformed my experience with children that before I would just feel were out of my reach. I began to say, hey, listen, listen, listen. And what I love, love, love about sharing Conscious Discipline, and that's really how I describe it, that I'm sharing something that is been so valuable to me as a teacher. Something else that's so uh, different about conscious discipline that I hear over and over is teachers saying, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about conscious discipline or I'm so excited about getting back to my class. And we're talking about a discipline program. Obviously, we're t it's something much bigger, much more. I hear that all around the country. I'm so excited about this. And I think teachers get excited because it's, it's a fresh perspective. This is about what you can do with the time that you have them. This is about the power that you have in those six or eight hours that you are with children. It's what you can do that's going to make a lasting difference. And uh, it often goes back home. And the parents come in and say, what is this? What's going on? You know, I heard I was driving down the freeway and I got upset. I started you know, yelling out the window at another driver. And my, my child said, mom, mom, stop. Take a deep breath. And I was like, where did that come from? They want to know. It's the most powerful experience that teachers come back and describe is when they're talking about a child that before what they would have described in, in very negative terms and how difficult they were, how impossible they were, how frustrating, how many obstacles were in their way. And when they come back and they say, you know, this child has completely changed. And it, all over and over they're going, this, and I can't believe it. You know, I don't know what happened. This child has completely changed. He's just a new child. And you're like, mm-hmm, 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 until the teacher goes, oh, maybe something in me changed. Maybe something in me shifted. And he, hearing teachers come up to me as they do, I mean, in just every workshop, there's somebody who'll come up and say, Oh my, you know, this is, this is so incredible. This, the, I, 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 did, I, I never heard of this before. This has just changed my life. I can see so many ways I can use this. I, I, I want to know more. One, one thing I have to offer is that when I go out to work with teachers and to address teachers, that I've been in classrooms that week. I've been, I've been working with the things that I'm talking about that week, that I have connections with schools that I'm constantly going in and doing classroom support and doing coaching and mentoring with teachers from uh, pre-kindergarten and early childhood centers as well as elementary school throughout all the grades. Because the, these principles, these powers, they're really the same even through adulthood and through working with adults and in adult relationships. But of course they're going to look a little different depending upon the age. and and with an understanding of de development, it's easy to, sit, to tell okay, how far I can go in, with this child in this situation. Another thing that I really make a point of in my workshops is that I want them to walk out with a, a new skill, or m more, than, more than one, depending upon the time, the length of the workshop. So I always want to include an element of skill practice, and I always want them to walk out with something concrete in their hands that's going to remind them about what they learned or that's going to be an actual prop that is, can be used in the classroom to support the uh, social-emotional intelligence of their children. I remember a particular child, though, you know, by all the descriptions of his teachers, was headed down a path to you know, being referred to an alternative school for a more restrictive environment because of his ag aggressive outbursts and because of his, his history. You know, he was marked that way because of his background, because of the way he'd, he'd uh, the notes in his record so far and the way he was showing up at, at that school. And when teachers were able to say, I saw this guy, I saw him, he was just about to punch somebody and I saw him put that fist down and take a deep breath and tell him, stop, I don't like what you're doing. And how excited they were to see this child that all, that, that all of a sudden they could see a new future for this boy.